Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Want to say a big hello to all the new subscribers. Um, in this video here, we're going to see if I can finish up on the third of uh, this particular hunting guide's motors. Um, little Evan Rude here has got some issues for sure. We'll be taking a look at that. And then I got some other stuff. Had to do a little bit of uh, chopping on some parts that uh, I thought I could use some good stuff off. And I'll show you what that is um, for sure. Um, but first of all, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Bob Chapin. He uh, sent me some... OMC carburetors, um, set of triplets, looks like they're off one of the three cylinder, inline three cylinders, 65, 70 type, 75 uh, OMC. Big thank you for that. We'll put them to good use, I am sure. And so, big thanks to Bob. Oh, also, um, I want to say a shout out to Sergio Vieira. Hope I'm saying it right. Vieira. Um, anyway, he was the winner of uh, one of my giveaways, and if you remember, I sent him a uh, a bear claw, and it had an Alaska. It was a wood carving, had Alaska themes and everything, and uh, he received that and was kind enough to send me back not only uh, a JPEG of him with the bear claw, but some cool old outboards. He's got a good collection going. So Sergio, uh, thank you for doing that. And here those are. Diablo! windy blustery day got some killer whales right there
Looks like there's at least four of them. Killers. this guy is it's supposed to be leaking water up under here and last season I replaced the t-stack cover because it had a hole in it where they had dropped it and now there's no space back there but overall not a bad looking little motor um, so, a little bit of white powdery going in there, but let's go ahead and get it in the tank. See if we can see this leak. Oh, let me get you over in that there vicinity. And... So, let me make sure. She is in neutral and does go in and out of gear. Reverse, okay. So the 
Stampies are free. See if we can find out what's going on with this little motor. Uh huh. Got the old leaks on. Again. So. Well, there's a feels like gas going in a little bit. Not a lot. Um. Yeah, let me turn on this sucker. Make sure you're in. You are. Pull the choke. And auto work. Okay, I took the carb air silencer off and squirted some uh, carb intake cleaner right in there and couldn't get it to pop. So I've got my Sparky Spider hooked up. Let's look. See what we get. Okay. Well, that didn't work out too good. There. Make sure nothing's, I don't think nothing's touching. Right there, these top two. Hopefully you can see that. That's Sparky. All right, I'm gonna spin it over with the old half Milwaukee and see if anything flies out of them cylinders that looks like water or anything. Real good spark. So, the spark plugs are QL77 JC4s. They look pretty oily and wet. So let me clean them up a little bit. And hit it with my wire wheel. So, they look a little better now. Get those puppies back in. Get these puppies back in there. We got some Sparky. And, uh, I ain't gonna do the old compression us check just yet, because... This engine came in here not too many months ago and was running. Now that don't mean a whole lot now, but I'm going to see if I can get it to pop anyway. And if not. And if not. Uh, didn't want to do the whole facts check. Compressionist. And all that other good stoop. <clears throat> so, there's my top one. Let's put it on the bottom first. It is the bottom right here. And then the top. Give it a yank.
I'm guessing right there is where that came from. Yeah, yeah. This whole shift thing down here. Wow, that's all broke. And I don't know. Well, I know that's a brand new or, you know, not very old T-Stat gasket and T-Stat cover. Um, and this is the one that don't have the bolt hole on that, that side that it appears to be leaking from. I can't tell where it's coming from really. Now this would be your some more of that safety interlock, I think. Yeah, that moves that up and down that's what's broke is the bottom of this plastic if you look right in here the bottom of this plastic is where that piece of plastic came from and here's the linkage I don't know if you'll be able to see. yeah I should be able to see the linkage there Put my fat finger out of the way there but anyway, that was supposed to hook. That right there. Blah, 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 where I'm wiggling my finger inside the cowling. Was supposed to hook. It, it goes in that circle or hole there, and that piece of plastic broke off and blam. So that's where that's at. And that's for the safety interlock so that you can't go but so fast in reverse or start it with the throttle wide open. So I'll probably have that piece of plastic. And uh, I'll have to kind of, I think it's time for a cup of coffee and think about this one a little bit, what I'm going to do, whether I should, I can't tell where the water's leaking at from down there. I just know it's coming around from the bottom left-hand side of the T-Stat cover. Um, and I, I know I replaced the thermostat thermostat gasket on this just about a season ago, last season. And it wasn't leaking. And now it's leaking again. So maybe that T-stat cover on this thing is a little warped. And maybe this would be a case where I double up on the gaskets. But right now I'm going to go get a cup of hot joe and just think about it.
don't know if you could see it in that little bit of video there, but uh, what it looks like to me is going on with this little 15 two-stroker Evan Root is the uh, base to um, power head gasket, where the power head actually sits in on the uh, leg of the motor. That is leaking. Water's coming out of there. Um, so that power head will need to be pulled off um, and um, a new gasket. He, it, that gasket's tore or something under there because I've got water coming out kind of on both sides of it. So I believe the back end of that power head gasket. What had happened is last season, and you'd have to go back and look several videos ago, but I have it on there. This engine had been dropped or had fell onto the back of the pan and it shoved the bolt for the latch, the hood latch, into the uh, T-stat cover um, on this particular model of motor that T-stat is down at the bottom and it smashed that and knocked and broke a hole the bolt for the latch did in the T-stat cover. So I replaced that and a new gasket. And it wasn't leaking then, but my guess is when that thing took a hit and it broke that uh, T-stat cover, it also uh, probably uh, ripped that gasket that was probably going anyway or something. But that's where the water seems to be coming from. It seems to be coming just to actually the very back of the block where it mounts to the leg. It looks like there's water coming out from under there. Um, because I know the T-stat gasket is new, relatively new. So I think uh, the proper procedure to continue diagnosing this motor and make sure it's the base two cylinder head uh, gasket is to pull that power head. So I'll see what the uh, owner wants to do. He could use this thing in a pinch just like it is. It's got a couple of drain holes on the back. The water's just draining out of there. The, the motor appears to be running cool and in fact he said at the last uh, hunting season he was here they used it just like it was and it ran fine. So I'll see what he decides to do. He's got another a couple other good engines now that he could use in its stead, but that's up to him. So I'm gonna button the uh, air silencer back up on the carburetor. I had to pull that off, and um, all I did was pull the uh, rich lean adjustment out of the top of it, squirted some carb cleaner down in there and a little compressed air, and that got her to go, and she seems to start easy now. So that's what I'm gonna tell him that I recommend is that we pull this power head uh, if he wants to spend the money so it's going to be up to him so we'll see it's getting a little long it's getting a little late and uh so that's going to be a wrap on this one. i want to thank you for watching one more hack from kodiak please like and subscribe to inside outboards with your host cody bass